This tutorial is going to be looking at converting units of measure and specifically metric units when looking at lengths. So I'm just going to write that as the title. Converting metric units of length. Now in functional skills questions the only ones you're going to need to learn are millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres and how many of each make up each one and therefore how to convert between these. So what we're going to look at first is how many millimetres make up one centimetre. You can check that actually from a standard 30 centimetre ruler. You'll see 10 small dashes that make up one centimetre. So therefore what that means is one centimetre equals 10 millimetres. The next unit up is actually one metre and that is made up of 100 centimetres. So you can see actually that we've added a zero. All these conversions are based around units of 10. So it's fairly straightforward in that sense. The next highest unit that we've got is a kilometre and that is made up of a thousand metres. And again we've added that extra zero on the end there. So it's ten hundred thousand, that's a good way to remember it. Now what we're going to look at next is specifically how we can do the calculations to convert between these. What's really useful for doing this is creating a quick and easy diagram so I'm going to write millimetres on the left and then continue with the next highest units in order from left to right. So I've got millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. So that's the first part of the diagram. The next section is we just need to create arrows going from left to right, going from each unit. So millimetres to centimetres, centimetres across to metres and metres across to kilometres. So that's that part. We need to do the opposite, going the other way on the bottom. So kilometres to metres, metres to centimetres, and centimetres to millimetres. What we're going to do next is actually add the numbers on. So if we click, quickly flip back to what we did before, we've got how many of one unit are in another unit. So we had 10, 100,000. So we're going to relate these numbers back to the diagram. So we know that 10 millimetres make up 1 centimetre. So I'm just going to write that at the top there. We know that 100 centimetres make up 1 metre. And 1,000 metres make up a kilometre. And then again we're going to mirror that on the bottom. Because they're still the same distances. So we're going to write the same numbers on the bottom. The equivalent distances there. Now we're nearly done with this diagram. All we need to do is explain what we're going to do with these numbers. So are we going to times them, or are we going to divide them, subtract, etc. How are we going to get from millimetres to centimetres? Well, all the top side is actually divide. So I'm going to write that next to all of them. So what that tells us is, if we need to convert from millimetres to centimetres, we can just look up here, and it tells us we need to divide by 10. And again, the, off, uh, the bottom side is very much the opposite to the top. So all down there we're going to put times. So that would be times by 1000, times by 100, and times by 10. So a good way to think of this is if you're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you're always going to be dividing by whatever the associated number is. Because there's always going to be less of the larger units. They're covering larger distances, so that's why you're going to need less of them. And then if you're going, obviously, the other way from a larger unit to a smaller unit you're going to be times in by the associated number so there's going to be a lot more of those smaller units so let's do a quick couple of examples just to show you how that works so let's say we've got a question where one of our dimensions in the question is equal to 500 centimeters and another dimension in that question is listed as 23 meters. Now it's very difficult when we have questions like this to carry on with them both in different types of units. So it's not easily relatable. So what we have to do to start off approaching that style of question is actually convert one of the numbers into the same unit as the other one. And it makes things a lot more straightforward afterwards. 
it doesn't actually matter which one you convert so we could convert the 500 to cent uh, centimeters to meters or we could change the 23 meters into centimeters for the purpose of example I'm going to change the 500 centimeters across into meters so we're going to convert this top one now if we go back to our diagram we need to find the section that tells us how to convert centimeters to meters so that is actually this one and that's dividing by 100 so that's what we need to do we're just going to do 500 centimeters divided by 100 and that should give us our answer in meters so I'll bring up the calculator to do this as you're always allowed to use one so 500 divided by 100 so that gives you an answer of 5 and obviously that's going to be 5 meters so we have it, 500 centimetres is equivalent to 5 metres. We'll do one more. This one, we're going to have 2,300 millimetres and also 15 metres. Now this time, I've purposely made it so these have more than one division between them. So it's not just a case of going from millimetres to centimetres or centimetres to metres. They're actually two sizes of unit away from each other so we're going to have to do two calculations to solve this one so we'll break it down again it doesn't necessarily matter which one you change but I'm just going to go with the top one 2300 millimeters we're going to convert that into meters so we'll go back to our diagram again to see what we need to do first and so we can break this into two steps so first of all it makes sense to change it from millimeters to centimeters and that at the above tells us it's divided by 10. So that's what we're going to do first. 2300 divided by 10. A quick rule for this is actually if you divide anything by 10, it's just the same as knocking a zero off it. But as I say, you've always got the calculator there if you're not 100% sure. So it's 230. So that's going to become 230 centimeters. So obviously that's your first step. Your second one is we now need to change that 230 centimetres across to metres to finish with. Let's go back to the other diagram again. And again it's the one we used before. Centimetres across to metres is dividing by 100. So we know that we need to do 230 divided by 100 to change our answer into metres. So you can get that up again, 230 is already up there, divide by 100. So that gives you 2.3, so it's going to be 2.3 metres. And that's your final answer. So like I say, it's just two steps for doing that one, as the two divisions away from each other. You won't necessarily get a question where it specifically asks you to change millimetres to metres, for example. That's why I mentioned earlier they would be part of an overall question using dimensions where they'd encourage you to think that through for yourself. So if you ever see two different units, think I need to make them the same before I can do anything else. And that's the end of this tutorial on converting units of measure.